journey through time and into the wild's lush embrace. In the beginning, long before human existence, the Earth sang a song of continuous creation. Amidst the grand opus of geology and evolution, a wonder emerged near the equator. Or perhaps even more than a wonder, a gift. This is the Amazon rainforest. Stay buckled in until the end as we chart a course to the present, beginning at its genesis. We weave together threads from a vast tapestry that spans millennia. Welcome yet again to another Travpedia exclusive. As the colossal landmass of Pangaea began to drift apart around 200 million years ago, South America was cleaved from Africa with the infant Atlantic Ocean filling the growing chasm. This embryonic continent was yet to experience the gift of the Amazon. The terrain, back then, was but a shadow of the lush landscape we admire today, mostly an arid wasteland. However, the symphony of plate tectonics continued, and in its wake, the Andes Mountains emerged, standing tall and majestic against the horizon. This mighty mountain range would play an instrumental role in the Amazon's creation. With the rise of the Andes, the geological paths of the Amazon's many rivers were disrupted and reversed. What once flowed into the Pacific now took a northeastern trajectory, culminating into the Atlantic. As rain kissed the lofty peaks of the Andes, it journeyed down their slopes, carrying along rich minerals and sediments. Over time, this runoff began to nourish the parched land, turning barren ground into fertile plains and valleys. The global climate, too, was undergoing its own transformation. Roughly 60 million years ago, the Earth was swaying to the rhythms of a greenhouse epoch. Warm temperatures and high atmospheric carbon dioxide concentrations allowed the continent's interior to become increasingly humid. This wet and warm ambience became the cradle in which the Amazon's early plant species would thrive. Trees, once isolated to certain pockets, began to proliferate. A domino effect ensued. Trees released moisture into the air, further enhancing the rainfall patterns, which in turn nourished even more plant life. As this verdant spiral continued, the rainforest we recognize today began to emerge, although it would be millions of years before it reached its zenith. With its foundations set and its legacy beginning to unfurl, the Amazon wasn't just a forest, it was a kingdom, a realm that mirrored the Earth's very essence. Termed the lungs of the Earth, its vast expanse of verdure underscores a role far more profound than one could fathom at a cursory glance. This isn't just poetic license, but a nod to the forest's unparalleled ability to consume carbon dioxide and exhale oxygen. Every day, the Amazon's 390 billion individual trees inhale vast quantities of carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas, and gift the world 20% of its total oxygen supply in return. By the way, be sure to click on the free link to Travpedia VIP in the description below. 
It is your gateway to all travel-related products and travel deals anywhere on planet Earth. Click the link now and begin your journey today. You're already a Travpedia VIP. At dawn, as the rainforest stirs from its nocturnal slumber, a delicate mist drapes over the canopy. The trees, draped in jeweled dewdrops, seem to whisper secrets to the dawning sky. As the sun's first golden fingers stretch across the horizon, they paint the mist with hues of lavender and rose, a silent serenade to the start of the day. By mid-morning, the sun is a bold maestro, conducting the warmth from above, making every leaf glisten, every flower bloom, and every creature seek refuge in the shaded understory. The air is thick with expectation, a palpable blend of humidity and anticipation. The forest seems to hold its breath, waiting. Come afternoon, the skies often surrender to the passion of the moment. Thunderous applause roars from the heavens as torrential rains cascade down, like a million crystal dancers celebrating life. The rainforest rejoices, its rivers swelling, its soils quenching their thirst, and its myriad beings dancing in the downpour. As evening approaches, a truce is called. The rains often retreat, and the setting sun paints the sky in a kaleidoscope of oranges, purples and crimsons. A gentle coolness descends, and a serene hush envelops the vast expanse. The creatures of the night begin their serenades, and the Amazon, bathed in twilight, transitions from the vivacity of day to the mystery of night. With the arrival of nightfall, the rainforest dons a cloak of velvet darkness. Temperatures drop, and sometimes a gentle drizzle kisses the leaves, a lullaby for the slumbering giants below. Until dawn, the Amazon rests, dreaming of another day, another dance, and another weathered tale. But beyond its own symphony of climate, the Amazon plays a key role in shaping the world's water cycle as well. Evapotranspiration processes within the forest create vast plumes of water vapor. This atmospheric moisture, often described as sky rivers, travels across continents, influencing rainfall patterns as far away as North America. Moreover, the Amazon's sprawling canopy and underlying vegetation act as a gigantic thermostat. By reflecting sunlight and releasing water vapor, the forest regulates regional temperatures. This in turn affects ocean currents, El Nino cycles, and even the permafrost thawing in the Arctic. The Amazon isn't just a South American treasure, it's a global sentinel. While its role in global processes is magnificent to truly appreciate the Amazon, one must delve into the microcosm of its intricate ecosystems. The modern Amazon stands as a testament to nature's diversity, boasting a symphony of wildlife that would leave even the most imaginative minds spellbound. The Amazon rainforest is the breathing orchestra of Mother Earth. By the way, are you enjoying this Travpedia exclusive? Do us a favor and click the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you never miss out on any of our breathtaking content. Imagine, if you will, waking up to the rhapsodic tunes of over 1,300 bird species.
the harpy eagle soars overhead, a majestic sight, while the vibrantly hued macaws paint the skies with splashes of color. In the heart of the Amazon, where the trees whisper ancient tales, prowls the elusive jaguar. Moonlight dapples its ebony rosettes, each a mark of untamed majesty. Eyes like amber orbs peer from the thicket, reflecting the luminescent dance of fireflies. As the river murmurs lullabies to the crescent moon, the jaguar moves with a stealthy grace, a silent waltz between shadow and starlight. These jungle phantoms, guardians of verdant realms, are the whispered legends that the leaves speak of. In every rustle, in every ripple, the spirit of the Amazon echoes and the jaguar listens. But also within the Amazon's emerald embrace lives the anaconda, slithering as a liquid shadow. This serpentine titan, draped in scales of ancient mysteries, moves with a mesmerizing grace. Its eyes, ageless and piercing, glimpse the soul of the jungle. But the anaconda is all but alone in the embrace of the Amazon's labyrinthine waters. The black caiman lurks, an obsidian sentinel of the depths. Armor-clad, with eyes that gleam like moonlit onyx, it waits in stillness, the very essence of patience. But it's not just about the megafauna. In the understory, camouflage to the untrained eye, insects play out dramas of survival, pollination, and evolution. In the vast tapestry of the Amazon, tiny architects march in relentless rhythm. The leafcutter ants, nature's diligent harvesters, paint trails of emerald confetti. With mandibles sharp as sculptor's tools, they carve the foliage, transforming the colossal jungle into miniature masterpieces. Every single layer of the rainforest, from the towering emergent trees to the dense forest floor, buzzes with life, playing a different note in the grand musical of the ecosystem. The Amazon River, which flows like veins through the rainforest, is in itself a spectacle of marvel and wonder. Born from tiny droplets in the icy cradles of the Andes Mountains, it embarks on a monumental journey stretching over 7,062 kilometers, making it the second longest river on our planet. But when it comes to sheer volume, no other river even comes close. Imagine, if you will, a waterway so vast that it releases 209,000 cubic meters of water every second into the Atlantic Ocean. The Amazon's vastness could engulf the next seven largest rivers combined. But the river is not just about magnitude. It's a beautiful mosaic of stories, cultures, and ecosystems. The Amazon River, together with its tributaries, is home to more than 2,200 species of fish, more than the entire Atlantic Ocean. Pink river dolphins grace its waters with elegance, while fearsome piranhas remind one of the fragile balance of life and death. In the heart of the Amazon rainforest, amidst the symphony of whispering winds and the murmurs of the meandering rivers, lives a tribe that is a living testament to the tales of nature. They are the Huaorani, guardians of the green abyss, wanderers of the waterways, and custodians of an age-old culture that continues to thrive in the delicate balance of the rainforest ecosystem. The Warani have a rich tapestry of history woven from threads of survival, encounters with explorers, skirmishes with outsiders, 
and tales of their intimate bond with the forest. Their ancestors, true sons and daughters of the Amazon, have left them an enduring legacy, a life in harmony with the forest's rhythm. Upon a first glance at a member of the Huaorani tribe, one would immediately notice their striking face painting. This is not merely an adornment, but a language of colors and patterns. Each design narrates a story, marks a rite of passage, or symbolizes a particular status within the community. Painted with pigments derived from the gifts of the forest, these intricate designs are as much a part of their identity as their songs and stories. Clothing in the Huarani community is a beautiful blend of functionality and aesthetics. Often made from natural fibers, their clothing is adorned with colorful beads, feathers from the myriad of birds that share their home, and other forest treasures. The attire not only serves as protection against the elements, but is also an extension of their persona, dancing gracefully with every move, echoing the vibrant life of the rainforest. But it's not just the land where the Huarani showcase their mastery. Their prowess is equally evident on water. With canoes carved meticulously from logs, they traverse the waterways with a finesse that can only come from a lifetime of understanding the river's temperament. Fishing is an art for them. With handcrafted spears or simple lines, they dive, dart, and dance on their boats, merging with the water's flow, becoming one with the river to draw sustenance from its depths. And then there's the mouth arrow, a symbol of Huarani's hunting mastery. Using a long, slender blowgun, they propel darts with incredible accuracy. These darts, tipped with curar poison, quickly incapacitate their quarry. A soft whistle in the air and a gentle thud, and the Huarani hunter secures his catch. It's a method passed down through generations, a testament to their deep understanding of the forest's language. The Huarani are more than just residents of the Amazon, they are its spirit and heartbeat. In their songs, dances, hunts and daily life, they encapsulate the essence of the rainforest, wild, free and profoundly connected. The river is the home and the lifeblood of a tapestry to tales. The indigenous tribes that call the Amazon Basin home view the river not just as a water body, but as a living entity, a spirit. Their shamans, the spiritual bridge between the humans and the mystical world, tap into the river's energy. For these tribes, the river isn't a resource, it's a deity, a mentor, and a life giver.
However, today's Amazon faces an onslaught of challenges. Deforestation, driven by wildfires, logging, mining and agriculture, is fragmenting this ancient kingdom. The once harmonious symphony is at times disrupted by the discordant notes of machinery and exploitation. But hope is not lost. In the vast narrative of Earth's history, the Amazon rainforest is both an epic tale of the past and a beacon for the future. As the story unfolds, its chapters are written not just by nature, but by every individual who recognizes its worth and works towards its preservation. Enjoyed the video? Don't forget to subscribe and make sure you watch more of our breathtaking content by clicking on one of these thumbnails. See you soon.